anyone who has never made a mistake has never tried anything new. So let's learn and enjoy mathematics. Our lesson is about measures of central tendency mode of group data. Measures of central tendency, it refers a single value that attempts to describe a set of data by identifying the central position within that set of data. The measures of central tendency are mean, median, and mode. Last time we discussed the mean and median of group data. Right now, we will discuss the mood of group data. What is mood? Mood, it is the value that most frequently appears in a set of data. The formula now for the mood of group data, mood, it is equal to LB. LB stands for the lower class boundaries plus the quantity D sub 1 D sub 1, that is the difference between the frequency of the modal class and the next lower class. While the D sub 2, so all over D sub 1 plus D sub 2, the D sub 2, that could be the difference between the frequencies of the modal class and the next upper class. And then I, that is the interval. In example number one, the table shown below is the science 10 scores of students. Let us calculate the value of the mode. The science scores from 1 to 10, we have 15 students. From 11 to 20, 12 students. From 21 to 30, we have 18 students. From 31 to 40, we have 14 students. From 41 to 50, that is 11 students. Let us identify the interval between 1 to 10. So we may subtract 20 minus 10, so the interval is 10. 30 minus 20, 10. 40 minus 30 is also 10. 50 minus 40, the answer is equal to 10. So it's up to you kung alin yung place na pipiliin nyo to identify the interval. Or you may count from 31 to 40 or 21 to 30. Also, the interval that is equal to 10. How about the total frequency? We need to add 15 plus 12 plus 18 plus 14, plus 11. If we add all, that is equal to n is equal to 70. 70, that is the total frequency. Let us compute for the lower class boundaries. The lower limit are 1, 11, 21, 31, and 41. To get the lower class boundaries, subtract it with 0 0.5. So it means 1 minus 0 0.5, that is equal to 0 0.5. 11 minus 0 0.5, that is equal to 10.5. 21 minus 0 0.5, that is 20.5. 31 minus 0 0.5, that is 30.5. 41 minus 0 0.5, that is equal to 40.5. Let us get the modal class. Let us see which among this frequency is the highest frequency. The highest frequency, it is 18. So it means if this is 18, this could be the modal class. That is the class interval 21 to 30 and the lower class boundaries, that is 20.5. Let us solve now for the mode. The formula LB plus the quantity D sub 1 all over D sub 1 plus D sub 2 times the interval. So the lower boundaries the lower boundaries of the modal class. So that is 20.5 plus the D sub 1. If this is the frequency of the modal class, subtracted by the next uh, lower class. So that is 18 minus 12. So 18 minus 12, that is equal to 6. So we will write 6 in the numerator for the D sub 1. Also in the denominator, that is D sub 1. Plus, we need to get the D sub 2. So the D sub 2, if this is the frequency, of the modal class subtracted with the next upper class, so that is 18. So 18 minus 14, that is equal to 4. While the interval, that is equal to 10. So let us copy. 
So let us solve now for the mode. So mode it is equal to 20.5 plus 6 times 10 is 60. And then 6 plus 4, that is equal to 10. Mode is equal to 20.5 plus 60 divided by 10. The answer is equal to 6. If we add 20.5 plus 6, that is 26.50. So the mode, it is equal to 26.50. So as you can see, the mode is within the modal class of the class interval from 21 to 30. In example number two, the table shown below are the weight of the grade 8 students. Let us calculate the value of the mode. The weight of the students are 100 to 109. We have 7 students. From 110 to 119, 12 students. From 120 to 129, 15 students. From 130 to 139, we have 14 students. From 140 to 149, we have 14 students. From 150 to 159, we have 8 students. Let us get the interval. So 159 minus 149, the interval is equal to 10. Or you may count from 110 to 119. It depends on you which row you will choose to uh, count how many interval. From 100 to 109, so that is 100, 101, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 109. So the interval, that is equal to 10. To get the total frequency, so let us add 7 plus 12 plus 15 plus 14 plus 14 plus 8, the answer is equal to 70. So the total frequency, it is equal to 70. Let us identify the lower class boundaries. So the lower limit are 100, 110, 120, 130, 140, and 150. To get the lower class boundaries, let us subtract those lower limit minus 0 0.5. So it means 100 minus 0 0.5, that is 99.5. 110 minus 0 0.5, that is 109.5. 120 minus 0 0.5, that is 119.5. 130 minus 0 0.5, that is 129.5. 140 minus 0 0.5, that is 139.5. 150 minus 0 0.5, that is 149.5. Let us identify the highest frequency. So the highest frequency, that is 15. So it means this is the modal class with the interval 120 to 129 and the lower class boundaries, that is 119.5. Let us solve now for the mode. Mode it is equal to LB plus the quantity D sub 1 all over D sub 1 plus D sub 2 times I. The lower class boundaries of the modal class, that is equal to 119.5. So let us copy. Plus the difference, first difference. So the first difference, that is the frequency of the modal class subtracted by the next lower class, that is 12. So 15 minus 12, if we subtract, the answer is equal to 3. So let us write 3 for the numerator and also 3 for the denominator. Plus the d sub 2. So the d sub 2, if this is the frequency of the modal class, subtracted by the next upper class, so that is 14. So 15 minus 14, that is equal to 1. And then the interval, let us copy 10. So let us continue to solve. Mode, it is equal to copy 119.5, 3 times 10, the answer is equal to 30. And then 3 plus 1, that is equal to 4. So the mode, it is equal to copy 119.5, and then let us divide. 30 divided by 4, that is equal to 7.5. So 119.5 plus 7.5, the mode, it is equal to 127. So 127 is between the interval 120 up to 129. So let us recap what you have learned. About the measures of central tendency mode of group data. It is very important for the group data, the frequency distribution table. How to find the mode of group data? How to solve if the given is the mode of group data? 
we need to have a frequency distribution table and then the mode formula. In a frequency distribution table, we have the class interval, the frequency, and the lower class boundary. So to get the lower class boundaries from the lower limits subtracted by the 0 0.5. The mode formula, mode is equal to LB plus the quantity D sub 1 all over D sub 1 plus D sub 2 times the interval. Instruction, complete the table and find the mode of group data. Provide your answers in the comment section. Enjoy learning mathematics. I'm Teresa Tubal. Thank you so much.